During 131-9B APU operation, the ECU registers real-time information and stores some of it in the DMM. The real-time information includes APU LRU and aircraft information. The stored information includes APU hours, cycles, and operational parameters. The APU ECU also records errors found during operation and the reasons for a shutdown. When a problem arises, troubleshooting will start by reviewing the stored APU information. This video will step through the CDU menus to find real-time, stored, operational error and shutdown information for the APU. Starting from the CDU main menu, select Index. From the next screen, select Maint. From the next screen, select APU. This brings you to the APU Byte Test main menu. From the APU Byte Test main menu, you can select Current Status to see what faults just occurred, fault history to see the last 99 shutdown faults, maintenance history to see the last 99 maintenance faults, ident config to see the APU and ECU part numbers, serial numbers, hours, cycles, and to gain access to the DMM data. Input monitoring to see what information is coming into the APU ECU before start and during operation. And oil quantity to find out what the APU oil level was at power up. Once selected, the current status page will either indicate no failures found or will provide information about a fault that occurred since the last time the ECU was powered. If there is a new fault to show when the current status page is selected, the page will show whether there would be a flight deck indication, what the fault code is, a brief description of the fault, a corrective action, and an option to view whether there have been any additional occurrences. Typically, when troubleshooting an issue, the faults that have occurred within the last 100 starts are significant. Troubleshooting of the fault codes found during a review of the current status is accomplished using the Boeing Fault Isolation Manual, or FIM. Once the APU is powered down and power is removed from the ECU, any fault information is moved to history. Once selected, the Fault History page displays shutdown fault history from past APU automatic shutdowns. One fault code displays per page. The code is used with the AMM and the FIM for corrective actions. Each page shows whether the fault triggered an indication in the cockpit, the fault code, Instructions on where to go for corrective action, usually the FIM. A brief description of the fault, the date, the time in GMT, and how many starts old the fault is. In addition, each page offers two options. The first option is to go back to the current status page. The second option is to look at the other occurrences of this fault code. When asking for Honeywell's help to troubleshoot a problem, Honeywell will ask for the last five fault history faults in the ECU memory and their other occurrences. When sending this information to Honeywell, either write down the information from or take pictures of each screen. Push the next page button on the CDU to view the faults in succession. 
The maintenance history page displays faults the ECU found while looking out at the aircraft or APU-LRUs either before start or during operation. One fault code displays per page. The code is used with the AMM and the FIM for corrective actions. Each page shows whether the fault triggered an indication in the cockpit, the fault code, a brief description of the fault, the date, the time in GMT, and how many starts old the fault is. In addition, each page offers two options. The first option is to go back to the current status page. The second option is to look at the other occurrences of this fault code. When troubleshooting a problem, Honeywell will ask for the last five maintenance history faults in the ECU memory and their other occurrences. When sending this information to Honeywell, either write down the information from or take pictures of each screen. Push the next page button on the CDU to view the faults in succession. Ident Config provides access to the information kept in the data memory module including APU serial number, hours of operation, number of starts, ECU part number and serial number, and the ECU software version. Access to the DMM information is on the second page. Push the Next Page button on the CDU to access the DMM menu. Once the DMM information is accessed, use the Next Page button to step through the 12 pages of DMM information. While the aircraft is on the ground, the input monitoring pages display APU operating parameters from the aircraft and APU LRUs. The monopole provides speed, the P2 sensor provides ambient pressure, the T2 sensor provides inlet temperature, and the ECU provides fuel control, torque motor current, and so on. Each of these parameters can be used to check on the APU operation in real time. To display the next page of information, push the Next Page button on the CDU. The Oil Quantity page displays the APU oil level as either full, low, or add. Add means that the oil level is approximately two quarts low. Low means that there are two quarts of oil left in the gearbox. The blue maintenance light in the cockpit will illuminate when the low oil level is reached unless the light has been disabled per the AMM.